welcome to Storytime. My name is Liz and as always it's lovely to have you with me today. Wherever you are in the big wide world, I hope you are doing good. It's good to hear. I'm doing good too, thank you, because you're with me today. Today we're going to be looking at a book by the author Julia Donaldson. And we've read quite a few of her books. She's a very famous author. I'm sure we've all heard of and read and watched on our site the uh, book, I think Brandon read it to us actually, it was the Gruffalo with his purple spikes on his back and his orange eyes and the little brown mouse that he meets. And we've also read Stickman and we've read um, Tyrannosaurus Drip and Cave Baby. And today we're going to be introduced to these characters. There they are. So on the front cover, we have um, the author's name up here, Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler, who um, drew these rather fabulous drawings. He does a lot of drawings for Johnny, Julia Donaldson books. And the title is at the top, here it is, and it begins with the letter A. And it says A squash and A squeeze a squash and a squeeze. And we've got some main characters on this story. We've got, now, can you see, I've got a bit of reflection today. The sun's come out just as I started to record. <laughs> so I'm just gonna tilt the book, here we go. Who's this here? Yes, you're absolutely right. It's a little old lady. And she looks like she's wondering. She's pondering something isn't she and the other characters we've got here we've got the cow and we've got a goat until it's a goat because it's got a little hair under his chin and we've got a chicken and we've got the that's right, the pig. And um, we can see a little house in the background and I'm just going to turn the book around because we've got one more um, character in the story. Who can this be? Yes, well done. It's the old man. And uh, we've got two magpies as well sitting, pecking on the ground be behind him. So I wonder what is going to happen to these characters in this story. I'm just going to move a bit. There you go. Now, remember, Julia Donaldson always writes in rhyme, so she always uses words that, set, that are different but sound similar, and we do like a rhyming story, don't we? So here we go. Let's find out what happens in A Squash and A Squeeze. A little old lady lived all by herself with a table and chairs and a jug on the shelf. A wise old man heard her grumble and grouse Oh, there's not enough room in my house. Wise old man, won't you help me, please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your hen, said the wise old man. Take in my hen? What a curious plan. Well, the hen laid an egg on the fireside rug and flapped round the room, knocking over the jug. Dear. The little old lady cried, What shall I do? It was pokey for one, now it's tiny for two. My nose has a tickle and there's no room to, to sneeze. My house has a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Taking your goat, said the wise old man. Taking my goat? What a curious plan. Well, the goat chewed the curtains and trod on the egg, then sat down to nibble the table leg. Oh dear. The little old lady cried, Glory be! It was tiny for two and now it's titchy for three. The hens pecked the goat and the goat's got fleas. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Oh, I could hear you then. Thank you for joining in. Taking your pig, said the wise old man. Taking my pig? What a curious plan. So she took in her pig, who kept chasing the hen and raiding the larder again and again. 
Well, she's not happy. The little old lady cried, Stop, I implore. It was Titchy for three and now it's Tiny for four. Even the pig in the larder agrees, My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Oh, I wonder what the wise old man's going to say. He says, take in your cow, said the wise old man. Take in my cow? What a curious plan. Well, the cow took one look and charged straight at the pig, then jumped on the table and tapped out a jig. <laughs> the little old lady cried, heaven's alive, it was tiny for four and it's weenie for five. I'm tearing my hair out, I'm down on my knees, my house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please, my house is a squash and a squeeze. Take them all out said the wise old man. But then I'll be back. But then I'll be back where I first began. She opened the window and out flew the hen. That's better. At last I can sneeze again. Achoo! She shooed out the goat and she shoved out the pig. Oh, my house is beginning to feel pretty big. And she huffed and she puffed and she pushed out the cow. Just look at my house. It's a now. Thank you, old man, for the work you have done. It was weenie for five. It's gigantic for one. There's no need to grumble and there's no need to grouse. There's plenty of room in my house. And now she's full of frolics and fiddly dees. It isn't a squash and it isn't a squeeze. Yes, she's full of frolics and fiddly dees. It isn't a squash or a squeeze. <laughs> We've come to the end of the story. And it reminded me when the, the hen laid some eggs. But I've got some eggs. I brought some eggs today. And I brought a big carton of eggs. And here just reminded me about space. So we've got one little egg in the corner and I'll just turn it around because there's the little old lady and I thought her egg box would be the house. And at the moment it's quite big isn't it? Even though at the beginning of the story she said her house was tiny. And what did the wise old man say? He said fill it up. And so you can see the more we fill up, this time with eggs, not with animals, and to see if the egg box, box is full. So we've got, so we had one, there she is, little old lady, one, two, three, four, five, six. And is, the, is it a squash and a squeeze? No, we've got more space. So we're going to add more eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Noisy eggs, aren't I? And now, oh, let's tilt it. We've got to be careful. <laughs> There's the old lady. And now my egg box. Now my egg, egg box, little old lady. Her house is full and it is definitely a squash and a squeeze. So the wise old man's plan was very good because it taught the little old lady about space. An understanding of how much space you can have. Well, I'm going to finish putting all my eggs back in their basket. I do hope you enjoyed that story. And remember, till we meet again... Stay safe, stay alert, keep washing your hands, and always keep smiling. Take care. Bye for now. Bye-bye.